your pop-up camper or travel trailer might have a hand pump style faucet in it. This was a very, very popular version for many, many years. Leisure Components unfortunately dropped them a year or two ago and they are no longer available. I know, I still got a brand new one here. Now you can replace that style with these. These are still available uh, from Zebra. It's a uh, hand pump faucet, but the issue is the mounting flange is a little bit smaller than the hole that's already in your countertop. That's so how you have to fabricate a um, mounting bracket. Not, not a big deal, but if you don't want to, I got another option for you. From Dometic, we have a USB powered faucet and 11 liter potable water jug. I have kits available that have both these components together on our web store at Coleman Pop-Up Parts and I have them available for individual sale too, should you wish. Let's open this kit up. Inside we have our USB powered faucet, charge cable, suction stem to hook up to the water jug. This features a quick connect on the jug. Click lock into place, push button release. It's got a storage bag, bases, they give you two of them. We'll be installing this one into the camper that allows for easy attachment and removal of this faucet. And of course they give you the pads to mount them as well, self-adhesive. So it's important that we're gonna to need to be able to remove this faucet while we're not using it. You can see the profile is much higher than these original hand pumps. This is important because when the swing galley comes down, this will be too tall and the bed can hit it. So the easy removal which is a magnetized base is nice. The extra is cool too to take outside, put it on a picnic table, maybe even cooler, because you can take this whole system outdoors. You can hook it up to a table with the powered faucet or use it with this valve. Screws right on and allows you to get water out of it sitting sideways. Let's go ahead and install this into the Shenandoah behind me because I don't think the hand pump faucet in this one is working anymore. Step one is gonna be checking the cabinet for installation space. And we also wanna look for any plumbing, electrical and LP lines we have in this cabinet. I see I have one LP line here to stay away from. I'm planning on installing my new faucet here so I'm gonna drill a hole in the countertop to run my water line. For a grommet, I just used a table leg cap and drilled a hole in it. Make sure the surface is nice and clean. Press that firmly onto the countertop. And install the base. One thing to note, you might not have available cabinet space to install this vertically. It can lay on the side, but if you do, the suction stem on the cap here uh, isn't heavy. It tends to float on top of the water. So in this instance, I'm just gonna take some stainless steel washers and a zip tie and zip tie it to the end to keep my suction stem in the water. So I'm gonna install this one on its side and place my jug into the cabinet sideways. Hook up my water line and my faucet. Open this bleeder valve a little bit. Let's give it a shot. Touch the water icon twice to turn it on. and once more to turn it off. What's also really nice about this faucet is it has a light underneath. Great for nighttime conditions. Now that we have our new faucet, let's do something about the old one up here. Now we have a cable hatch, 
drink holder, or even soap holder. I'll add links in the description below where you can find these products on our web store at ColemanPopUpParts.com. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, mash that notification bell, and give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Special thanks to Barbara too for this idea. Uh, she installed a normal cup holder uh, in place of her faucet when she did a retrofit like this. Uh, that I didn't have, but I got plenty of cable hatches. So Barbara, if you're watching, thanks for the tip. I'll see you guys at the campground.